What's up guys, my name is Fusions, and today we have another Bakugan Geogun Rising opening. We're opening up this Pyrus Jetra Bakugan. So, let's get started guys. That's right guys, today we're going to be opening up this Pyrus Jetra Bakugan. Shout out to Jet Kuzo, of course. But yeah, we have the new uh, wave of core Bakugan here. Pretty awesome. But before we open this up, we're going to open up a Bakugan Battle Brawlers booster pack and we got the pyrus dragonoid going with the theme of pyrus today so let's open up this uh pack here let's open up this pack and let's hope we get a mac i think that's the line that i said in the other video but yeah i want to get a mac it is a pyrus card so maybe all this pyrus is gonna help out let's see if we get it liquid strike tides that's a good good card right there repel pyrus think again razor wings ventus moonbeam hyper fangzor Diamond Pegatrix, we got Hypertrox, just a super rare. Then for the Hex, we have Umbro Slash, which is a rare Hex. Nice, 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 but not what we wanted. But now let's get started with this Bakugan here. We got the Pyrus Jetra Bakugan, pretty cool. Let's turn this around, let's see the back. That's a little preview of the Bakugan itself. And here we have the wave that it comes in. I think I have all the Bakugan now except um the rls aratoa and then the diamond vylock so i'm still looking for those two but the rest i think i have all of them so all those videos are going to be coming soon make sure to uh subscribe and stick around to the channel we have a character card no action card in these core bakugan we have a gate card and two baku cores so let's open this up and let's see this jetra all right so first like always we're going to leave the Bakugan to the end. And first, we're going to take a look at this little bag here and all its contents. All right. So we also don't have like a, like a checklist or like a guide on how to play Bakugan. So, yeah, these core uh, Bakugan have less stuff for sure. We got double ooh, double shields. OK, we got a Aquas and Pirates get plus 400. So at least Jetra can use this one. And then, okay, we have the same one uh, as well. So two uh, equal um, shields here. Okay, so first, let's see the gate card. We have an Enoch, Darkest Enoch, gate card number two. Um, yeah, nothing I could say about this one. I don't know if you guys like to have a million Enochs, duplicates, gate cards. I, 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 I don't. I really don't. I... I hope the new ones come in soon because I'm getting just lots of duplicates. But now let's take a look at the character card. We got Pyrus Jetra here, double shield. Ooh, looking pretty cool there. I actually like that design. It looks awesome. It's uh, like a, I'm pretty sure it's like a squid or something. Mm, yeah, or like a jellyfish actually. That's what it's Jetra, right? Like jelly, jellyfish? Yeah, maybe. We have 500 B power for attack. And it has an ability if you do land on a shield which it comes with two uh you get plus 400 b so if you land on the best shield which it actually came with this one right here and then you add everything up you'll be at 1300 and with four attack which is actually not bad uh it's not the best pyrus but it's actually not bad for a core bakugan and just you know it's 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 pretty good i would say it's nice it would be one that i would want to play with but like i said it's not the best competitively but it's a cool one it's a good one um now let's take a look at the bakugan itself let's look at the bakugan let's see and here it is we got jetra here looking uh very very simple in ball form yeah very very simple but let's uh now let's roll it onto a core and let's see how this jetra opens up three two one bra and there it is. Ooh, whoa. Okay. I was not expecting it to be that big. It opened up a lot. So here it is. We got a Cyclops type of thing. Just a one eye right there in the middle. We do have a little bit of black uh, paint or dark paint, like uh, almost grayish. We got a little bit of green there on the eye and on the bottom there. I'm not sure what that part is. It might be part of the eye as well. I'm not sure. And then we do have lots of red and details with orange, which is uh, really good. It, it makes it look super cool. I like that they also put a little bit of black on the inside of this of these like uh, tentacles here, I guess that would be. 
yeah it's looking pretty cool it is a core bakugan remember so for for that for this bakugan to be this like complex and pretty big i would say for a core bakugan is actually nice they gave it that jet kuzo treatment for sure <laughs> it's awesome i i really like this one i i like it for sure and closing this bakugan is very simple so first we're going to put the two parts on the bottom in like that making it into the circle shape and then uh we're gonna put the two on the head in as well and then we just push this down like that and that is how you close this jetra bakugan it is a cool and very simple bakugan but for a core it looks awesome i mean it's pretty big for a core but what do you guys think of this bakugan let me know in the comments i actually really like this bakugan i like the art and i like how it looks uh in actual like the physical form so yeah it's a uh, it's definitely one to get i would really want to see the other factions of the jetra just to see how it would look in other colors but what do you guys think let me know in the comments make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe and stay tuned for more bakugan content uh, i got lots of stuff coming up soon so don't miss any videos thanks for watching guys and peace out